Hi, look, I want to talk to you about something um, that is really on my mind and in my heart. Um, and for those of you who are interested in me only for the guided meditations, this is not for you. This is about the Black Lives Matter movement and about how um, for those of us who are pale and pasty, all of our friends of color, Black, Brown, Asian Americans, Native American, Native North, Central, South American, you know, everyone is, I think, expecting us to stop being a bunch of donkeys and really step up and stand with our brothers and sisters of color. It begins with the Black Lives Movement, but um, it doesn't end there, obviously. Um, I want to, we're doing a, uh, a talking circle Monday at three o'clock. I put the event link here. You are invited to join us on the Zoom event or watch the live stream on Facebook. If you join on the Zoom, you're invited to share it. If you're watching on Facebook, please share it. Um, we're invite, I'm inviting, we, just me. I invited as many spiritual leaders, healers, energy workers, spiritual kind people I could think of, this was very impromptu, I could think of who are not white to come and share. So if I just described you, please join us, share your hearts, your thoughts. Your... Oh, my gong is going your feelings about how your white brothers and sisters, especially the ones in, in the spiritual community, how our responses are affecting you. And I want to, I want, please, please join us because I know so many white people who really want to be helpful, who really want to be supportive, but they don't know what to do. And they're worried that they will offend people if they speak up. So they're staying quiet because they don't know how to be helpful. I know plenty who are loud, proud, and right there with you. I also know others who they don't get it or they say, oh, I'm spiritual. So therefore, this is not spiritual. It has nothing to do with me. They don't, you know, understand how when we are healthy in all ways, then we are all healthy in all ways that, so, um, and I know a lot of these people, like they say, oh, this isn't spiritual. It doesn't affect me. You know, my black friends understand and they don't like, well, if you're black and some white person is saying to you, oh, your needs right now are irrelevant to me, you get it. I don't know how you feel, or I don't know if that's what you hear. So, you know, that's what I hear. You might hear something different. So please come and share. The motivation for this is because, um, you know, I've been calling my friends, you know, my friends of color, just checking in, how are you doing? And I got to tell you, that was audacious to me. For all I knew, like people would be mad at me, like just because you're white, you think, but no, I mean, all I've received was kindness and gratitude and friendship. And I've had the most amazing conversations that have just filled me with gratitude that I am friends with such wonderful people. Um, but I called a uh, a friend of mine, I guess a student, client, you know, someone who attends some of my classes, usually kind of quiet, but thinks to see how she's doing. And I, you know, and I said, you know, we're, we're not social media friends. We're not, but I just want to call, see how she's doing. And she said, oh no, I follow you on social media. And I said, well, you know, how is this for you? Are you comfortable speaking up? Do you feel supported? And she said, no, I am in duck and cover. She said, I'm not even on Facebook. I am not on any social media because it is so painful for me to go onto Facebook and see so many of my white friends that I've taken classes with, that I've studied with, people that I have paid to heal me or teach me 
who are not saying Black Lives Matter, who are avoiding it, it says to me, they're telling me my life doesn't matter. And that is so painful because these were people that I thought, you know, we were uh, friends or I forget how she said it, like compatriots, that's my word. Um, and it's very demoralizing. And she said, also, I've seen how you and Uma, Uma Alexandra Bipat, have spoken up. And the very hostile response you've gotten, I've heard about the death threats that you guys got and the, the way people are cursing at you all. And, you know, and she said, I'm married. I have kids. I have a job. You know, she said, I'm working from home now, but eventually I'm going back to the office. I need to know when my children are outside playing in our yard, no one's going to come by and shoot them. I need to know that my family is safe that she even said, you know, we don't want to be shot. We don't want to be lynched. Those were her words. So I am not speaking up because I have to make sure my family is safe. I was like, this is a beautiful, modern, spiritual woman who lives near Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia. And she is not just afraid for the COVID-19, she is afraid that the people she thinks of as her friends will bring harm to her family if she just goes on social media and says, I think my life matters. I hope you do as well. So that's when I'm like, we have to. We, I don't know what else. If anyone has other ideas, feel welcome to let me know. But if I hear another over 40 year old white person denigrate what's going on, they need to hear this as well. Like we need to get word out. So listen, if you are not white, please join us on Zoom if you want. In the event description, I have the link and feel welcome to share. We'll also like Later, you know, anyone who types in comments will share that as well. You can watch it on Facebook if you want. Do a watch party, please. Um, and let's just, this is going to be spiritual people sharing their feelings in response to what's happening right now. And um, if you are white, you are also welcome to join us on Zoom as a quiet person sharing your support and listening, hearing what's being said. Uh, again, you can type in comments or you can watch on Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, you know, I don't know what else we can do. If anyone has ideas, bring them to me because we are one rainbow race of a variety of beautiful colors. And every color is equally as gorgeous and extraordinary as the other. Thank you. I hope to see you this Monday, 3 p.m. on my Facebook page um, or any other Facebook pages. Hopefully this will be shared and uh, or you're welcome to join us on the, uh, the Zoom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm going to be real quick. This is just a reminder that today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I and a number of amazing um, spiritual leaders of color are going to um, have a talking circle in which they will share um, their reactions and their anecdotes of basically a white response to the Black Lives Movement. So we have amazing spiritual leaders, you know, African-American, Native American of North, Central and South America, Asian American. Um, and, you know, we white people are welcome to be there too as listening and, you know, it's a chance for people to share their hearts and, you know, be heard. So, uh, some people have been asking, like, why I'm doing this. Um, I mean, honestly, as a Unitarian Jew, 
So Jewish heritage, American woman, special needs, um, who spent 40 years in a very sexist, racist, male dominated career as a chef. And I created programs that set international, yes, one race, one human race. Um, hi, you know, I mean, I created a ground setting, um, you know, programs that literally changed culinary arts in healthcare and actually in multiple industries, um, which meant I got fired a lot because how dare I, a woman, show up the men. I actually became better at negotiating my exit. Mitzi, come here. Come here, baby girl. Good girly. I became better at negotiating my uh, departure package than, you know, my hiring package or the, uh, the programs I created. And I've been an advocate for special needs youth. Of course, the majority of special needs youth who are falsely incarcerated are um, black special needs youth. The number one category of false imprisonments in our country are black special needs youth. Um, and I am saying false. The number one group of youth that are in juvenile detention or jail, like people under the age of 24 who are arrested is falsely arrested or like something that should have been a pat on the hand gets 10, 50 years in jail, black special needs young men. So I'm passionate about this. Um, I just wanna share this now because you know, I love to talk and people have been asking, but once we start the program today at three, I'm there to listen. So my friend, Will Harris, who will be joining us today, Will Power Harris says, do what you love to fight what you hate. Do what you love to fight what you hate. I love to talk, I love to live stream. So, you know, hence voices of freedom. You know, and Gloria Steinem, if any of you saw her amazing show, Gloria Alive, at the very end, she says, every day, do something audacious, something that you cannot believe you have the guts or the courage to do. So for me, that's what we're doing today. This is my big audacious thing, because trust me, I was super nervous about it. And then Toni Morrison um, said, make a list of everything you do, like your daily list, everything you got to do, everything. And then what are the one or two most important things? What's the most important thing? And everything else, let it go on the side. For her, she said it was raising her family and writing. Everything else had to be in support of that. So when I put all this together, when I hear so many people say, I want to be supportive of the Black Lives Matter, I wanna reach out to my friends of color, but I'm not really sure how to do it. I don't wanna offend anyone. I don't know, do they wanna hear from me? But I'm like, well, let's find out. And other people who say, oh, I'm too spiritual. I'm not gonna get involved with this. And my friends of color understand that this has nothing to do with spirituality. Well, let's find out, you know, and people who say, I'm healing the planet, so I don't have time for Black Lives Matter movement. Well, where do you, what do you think is, this is healing the planet, but let's find out, that's my perspective. Let's find out, you know, what spiritual people of all colors beyond pale and pasty think and feel, what anecdotes they have to share. Um, I've talked with a lot of people who are gonna be on our panel today and heard some amazing perspectives, amazing anecdotes. So um, some really surprised me and some really evolved, all of them really evolved me. Uh, so this will be an amazing time, 3 p.m. today. You can watch it here on my Facebook page or all the major presenters were live streaming their pages as well. Um, you're welcome to join us on Zoom. I have the event link in the description here, um, uh, the Zoom event link and the password. Um, 
if you're a white person, this is our opportunity to silently support our brothers and sisters of color and hear what they have to say. And um, if after this, you feel you have things you wanna share, if you're welcome to contact me, our Voices of Freedom series is ongoing and um, certainly, you know, we can always add to it. Well, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in just a little while. Bye.